Moi Bun. Hey guys, do you recognize me? I'm Moi Bun, and uh, I'm having my new look. I made more animated figure myself on Vroid. I've recorded the whole thing of remaking my model. If you are curious how it's done, just go and check out the other video. Today, what I'm going to show you is how to make a thumbnail within one minute, and I'm going to recommend a free app to you. As a VTuber, I think it's really important that you are doing regular streaming, and you need to upload video to increase your recognition. As a normal YouTuber, should know video or a stream should have a good thumbnail it was a really big trouble for me because i do different types of streaming for example i do study together i do gameplay i do vroid model making i'm also making architecture tutorials and i'm streaming for around four or five days per week which means i need to make thumbnails for each time i'm streaming before i was doing it in photoshop and uh it was alright, but it took me a lot of time. Even though I'm familiar on how to use the Photoshop, I still need to spend some time finding out the free fonts that are available for commercial use, and I need to find pictures that are available for commercial use. Then some of the pictures are having some backgrounds, then I need to spend a lot of time removing the background. Then I need to find out some colors that matches the theme or matches the thumbnail. It takes me a lot of time thinking about what to write on it, and I need to find a lot of free resources all the time from different websites. It was really a headache for me to prepare all the thumbnails for all the stream and the content videos. So I was looking for easier solutions. If you are a individual YouTuber like me, who need to spend time doing everything, then I really recommend this website that I found, Canva, for you to make a thumbnail less of a problem. So the website I'm showing you is called Canva. The Canva is totally free to use. And if you want a paid version, you can actually try one month for free. And right now I'm still in the first month of trial. So I'm paying nothing, but I'm having a pro version. So today I'm going to walk you through on how to use canva first of all we are going to go through the paid version to see what's available in there and i'll show you how to make a thumbnail real fast then we are going to the free version and we will see what difference between the pro version and the free version so let's get to it so Canva is this website that provides you a lot of materials and templates for you to modify. As we can see on the homepage that it has presentation, which is the HD resolution. They also have Instagram posts. They also have desktop wallpaper. They also have poster, resume. You can see there's a lot of it. And you can even print your own t-shirt or create a menu for yourself. So basically they're providing all the templates for you to modify. So you don't need to, for example, open Photoshop and then change the canvas size and in here you just click on one template and then you can just work on it the good thing about canva is that it's not only providing a lot of templates for you to use it also have a lot of free materials and free fonts and we will get to that later so first of all i'll show you how to make a thumbnail so i'm just using the presentation just by clicking here and it will create a new page for you to modify and this Canvas size is HD resolution. And as you can see here, they have a lot of templates. You can upload your own pictures. I have a lot of them. And they provide photos for you to add over here. You can drag and put it here. And it has a lot of other elements. It's something I really like to put on in my thumbnail because it's something interesting to look at. You can, for example, create a frame. Then later you can put the picture in here. So you don't need to cut it yourself. Just need to kind of drag and drop. And uh, they have a lot of different types of templates of art texts that you can use and also instead of thinking about what color fits your theme you can just choose one here and uh, they will prepare the heading and the subheading and the colors for you you can also add audios music you can also add some videos canvas can also prepare the videos so you can create videos and download from here yeah so let's just create a really fast thumbnail i just choose this color because i think it will be cool i don't really need these ones i'm going to first of all drag this cherry over here and you can see that it's pink and uh, it's already blending in with the pink even though i like pink but this one is not really obvious so what you can do here is actually you can see there are two squares above and if you click on the color and if you change to another one this material is actually changing the color according to it so that it can match your design and the heading i will write it as a thumbnail when you write the text you can change the size over here so it can be in one line you can just reduce the size over here 
to 104 and it will be aligned automatically for you what i like is to kind of shrink down the box just to to make it more accurate i don't really like the font so i'm gonna change it over here you can see that they have tons and tons of fonts what I like is a bit of like handwriting kind of font. So I just click on this one. I'll just try on different ones. So just to play around a bit to find out what is matching my desire the most. So I'll just choose this one for now. I'll just write here tutorial. I will find a font that looks kind of cute and handwriting-ish. Yes. And uh, the cherry colors, I might change it to this color. All right. I have my title. I have my subtitle and uh, i have a little bit of elements to decorate it and actually the pink color is a bit plain so i will just choose something this one i just drag it and drop it will just be like this then send to back what i want to do next is to have a picture of me over here so i just take a screenshot and uh, what i need to do is to upload my picture into canva so i just click here and upload media and i'll just drag and drop it over here and uh, what i'm gonna do is to extend a bit then click on effects there's a background remover you just click on it wait a while and uh, it basically removes most of the background for you if there's something that's still staying there for example there's this uh, green area over here and just erase over here okay and it's done I just zoom out so my bun can show because it's my favorite bun. Now I see that the background color is kind of taking over the tension. So I just need to click here. There is a transparent sign and uh, make it a bit transparent. So basically this thumbnail is done. I just need to click through the templates. There's a ton of different templates. If you click on one, and it will extend into a full presentation. If you think some of the materials are interesting, you can add as a new page. You can have a little bit of thumb up and you just drag it into your own canvas. Give it a like, you give it a mark. So you can just freely move everything around and just use the material as you need. I think it's done. Be aware that I'm using the pro version, but later on we are going to compare what is in the pro version and what is in the free version. Next is to export it. Click this sign and uh, you can have a PNG file. That's what I normally have. And in here you can choose the size if you want it to be more clear. Click on PNG and keep it on the HD size and click download. It's here. After you've downloaded, you can actually go back to the home page. You can see that all of your designs are saved and you can reuse them whenever you want. If you really like one picture, you can choose this one for stream. Then you can download it again and uh, it will save as stream and you can change it later again. And you can see that I've created so many thumbnails over here for my streaming because it's super fast. It's basically one minute job when you are familiar with it. What you can do is more than just thumbnail. You can also create some small videos. You can create own presentation. You can create your own resume. This is pretty much the the free pro version that I'm using right now, but I'm actually thinking about canceling it. So let's see what's in the free version of Canva now. Now I'm in the other account of mine that's not having the pro version. And uh, what I'm gonna try is still to make the same thumbnail. I still go to the presentation, so it creates the same canvas for me. There are a lot of templates here as well. Uh, it seems that they don't have this theme anymore. So let's see what are in the pictures. The, all these are free. So even though it's a free version, there's still a lot of materials to use. I'll just find a picture to use. For example, I like this one. This looks cute. And I'll just drag it here. I need to change the transparency to a bit lower. Then I need to add the text, add the heading, thumbnail. So that will be my title. So now you see over here, there are some yellow ones that are for pro. So you click and you can have try it free for 30 days. They still have a lot of like handwriting fonts select one that's a bit like handwriting there's actually a lot of it still then i choose some elements and uh yeah so the elements are still there what i was having was this one then i change this color now you see that in here i already have this background of the pumpkin so it's recommending some colors to me that i can change to fit this picture so i'll just choose this color okay so the free materials are pretty much the same now i need to upload the picture of myself i'm uploading the same picture now what i need to do is to remove the background background remover is having 
this crown sign on, which means that you can only use this feature when you are a pro member. But it's not really hard, especially for the VTubers. So what I'm gonna do is just to, instead of use this automatic background remover, I will open Photoshop and use magic eraser. So it's pretty much the same as this one. And I will save that picture as a PNG file and then I will re-upload that picture into here. So I'm uploading the one that has a transparent background into Canva. So just drag it here. If you want to have some effects on it, you can also try to have something like cherry. Well, I actually like this filter, so I'll just uh, keep this one. So I'll just say this is my thumbnail. It's not really pretty, but I'm just trying to test out what's the difference. And maybe I'll just try the thumb up and the thumb down. Yeah, it's still for free. So I'll just click it and I drag the thumb over here. So I'll just change the colors and put the stars. So I'll say this is the thumbnail and I need to download it. I will do the download and uh, I'll still download the PNG file. If you are Canva free user, you cannot adjust the size of it, but I don't think it's a really big problem. And it's downloading. And you can see that in my designs that it's already here. Yeah, and uh, that's it. And you can still have access to a lot of photos, um, have access to a lot of elements, a lot of art fonts that you can choose. And there are some audios that you can put, you can still create videos and you can add backgrounds just to replace the backgrounds. So as far as I can see, there's not too much limitation when it's a free version compared to a pro version. The free version has limitation on font choosing, but I think what is available is already a lot. And uh, when you upload the picture, you cannot remove the background, but you can do it in Photoshop or in other background removing websites. Then you can just save it as PNG and you can load it as a transparent background. Oh, and also when you need to download your thumbnail, you cannot change the size anymore when it's free. I've been using Canva for a month. So far, I really loved it. I create basically all of my presentations over here because they have like really cute handwriting fonts. I spent one or two minutes to prepare what I'm gonna stream that day and uh, put on some pictures, download and export and just start streaming, which is really easy because if I need to spend half an hour or one hour just to clean up and then I will just lose all the interest in streaming or creating other videos for that day. So Canva really helped me a lot and I would really like to share it with you guys. And as you can see that the free version is not having a lot of difference with the pro version and you can try pro version for months for free. That's all for this video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumb up to support me. And if you have any comments or ideas, just leave them down below. I would really appreciate any ideas to help me get better. And uh, that's it for this video. And I will see you in the next one. See you.